the second pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Oklahoma City Thunder select Chet Holmgren from Gonzaga University. The rest of the league really just let Chet Holmgren fall to the Oklahoma City Thunder? Oh man, this dude is going to be playing next to these dudes? I'm sorry to say it's over for y'all. They can move him to the outside and go tall. Look at home run. Straight on. Couldn't finish it. Home run. Got it. Got it. And it, off. it is. Here we go. For three. Yes. <laughs> Next level. I don't know why he's been such a great player for the team. Oh, my goodness. Holmgren. Up ahead. Nolan. The lob to Holmgren. Back to Tony. Pass. Block. Holmgren. Marcelo attacks him at Holmgren. Defensive end has been outstanding. They want it. But defensively. He has been the man. Look at that move! Oh, 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 come on, America! America! Get I could go on and on about Chet's elite offensive and defensive capabilities and how his skills won't only shine individually, but will be amplified by the Gideon SGA backcourt. His blend of scoring, creating, rim protection, finishing near the rim, and basketball IQ are pretty well documented at this point. But what I want to do in the next five minutes is tell you about three unknown details about Chet Holmgren that all contribute to making him the elite prospect that he is. So I'm a huge podcast guy and I think there's a ton of value in listening to other people who know a whole lot more about basketball than I do. However, there's a lot of cliches that podcasters use and one of them is the term high basketball IQ. It usually means a player can make good reads for assists or has good positional awareness among other things. However, you don't always hear about players that flat out don't make mistakes. That's exactly what one of my favorite podcasters had to say about Chet. Ryan Rossillo from The Ringer went on the Bill Simmons podcast on June 19th and said, And if I had to sum up Chet with one sentence in the scouting report, I'd say does everything right. He doesn't make mistakes. It's unbelievable how, how smart Chet is knows exactly what to do and how to play off the ball was cool with it the entire time and when he did get the ball like he did the right thing all the time so now as far as i'm concerned rosillo isn't a scout or a draft expert but he has been covering the league for i want to say maybe 15 years and he's been a fan for much longer than that and he's also a huge college hoops guy so clearly he's exaggerating a little bit nobody's perfect especially not a rookie in his first year in the nba but i gotta say not making any mistakes is a pretty good starting point. He also brought up how Chet had the fourth amount of plays drawn for him at his college team Gonzaga. That gives you an idea of how much more Chet could have been showcased. Point number two. Speaking of not being showcased, he has an untapped mid-range game. The reason this made the list is because Chet's mid-range is probably his most overlooked skill. But my ears perked up when I heard one aspect of his bag being called Dirk-esque, and so I went looking for it, and sure enough, the comp got made more than once. Here's three clips of Chet showing off that mid-range that I'm talking about. As you can see, he drives, stops a little bit short, and does this turn, half-spin, fadeaway. Now this shot in particular I'm a big fan of because the defender is draped all over Chet and he's just about even with the backboard so it's a high degree of difficulty on this one. Love it. Here's another clip. Drives, stops a bit short, spin fade away, and gets it to go. So how did such a potentially important aspect of his game get overlooked? Well, if you've dug through his highlights, you might have noticed that it's hard to find clips of him showing off that Dirk-esque mid-range. It's probably by design. Gonzaga didn't really use him to his maximum potential as a scoring threat because their offense was specifically built to run through Timmy. And as a result, there's a lot to Chet's game that his coach never really asked him to do, focusing instead on getting him to fill his role to the best of his abilities. In essence, we're talking about a 7'2", high IQ, defensive menace who also happens to be a 3-level scorer. Good grief. And the third and final reason the league should be petrified of this dude. Greg Bishop from Sports Illustrated did a bit of Chet shadowing and wrote a cover story that was published a few days ago. It's a great read, you should check it out. At one point, Greg writes about Chet's routine of getting some shots up in the gym and breaking a sweat. After that, and seemingly out of the blue, Greg writes, He dons a virtual reality headset and sits in a chair. Sequences borrowed from recent NBA playoff games unspool. Only he's there, reacting. 
picking correct options. That guy left the space open. Go right at him and boom, he tells a traitor, mimicking a seated windmill dunk. Excuse me? So Chet finishes getting shots up at the gym and then enters playoff situations and makes reads to get windmill dunks in VR? You know who else does that kind of shit? Prodigies. Ender's Game style child geniuses do that kind of shit. Now I admit this is one of those details that might be completely meaningless, or it could be entirely game changing. Not only is Chet already one of the most multi-talented prospects in the draft, he still has tricks in his bag that haven't been fully developed. And he's going to be able to do just that on a team with a great coaching staff that's already pretty awesome at putting their talent in places where they can develop. And if you made it this far, I want to thank you for watching the video. It's my first time making a basketball video. I'd love to get your feedback, your criticism, your comments. I want to get better and better at this whole YouTube thing. And knowing how you guys are liking the content is the fastest and best way to do that. I'm aiming for one to two videos per week, depending on what I want to talk about and how you guys receive the content. Feel free to subscribe to keep up to date with the uploads. And thanks again. See y'all in the next one.